Hello everyone, Ryan here with Product Impressions. Previously, I have reviewed some products from Duluth Trading Company. I've tried their buck naked boxers, short and long. I've tried the same with a t-shirt and I've also tried a, I believe it was called Breezeway t-shirt. The buck naked underwear is still my favorite underwear. I'm still wearing that, still using it. It's held up wonderfully. Um, but for the shirt, it, it was just awful. I really don't understand why anyone would want to wear that. It's scratchy, too snug. It doesn't loosen. It doesn't get more comfortable at all as it, the longer you wear it. So works great for underwear, not so great for shirts. Unfortunately, they also have stopped making that Breezeway shirt, which I went back to get some more of because it's getting a little bit nicer out. I thought I might need some other lightweight things. So since they no longer make that, I saw that they do have something called Armachillo. So it's supposed to be kind of a cooling material. It's a uh, nylon and spandex mix. We've got a couple of undershirts and a pair of underwear. I'm gonna pop these open, see how I like them, see how they hold up over a few washes. And uh, yeah, let's uh, pop these open, see what we think. All right, here we have our wonderful boxes here, as you can see, nylon and spandex. I've got a black undershirt, gray undershirt, and some blue underwear. So large, uh, yeah, let's see. They specify it has jade cooling, so there's supposed to be bits of jade in here that actually makes it feel cooler. Just touching it, it definitely does feel pretty cool to the touch, so that is nice. Yeah, uh, it does have a little bit of extra length on there so that it's not going to pop out if you bend over or anything, so you're not going to be flashing people. Popping that open. It definitely does have a very synthetic feeling, which is not surprising from nylon and spandex, but I figured this is probably going to be better for... Uh, undershirts for the time being. I can wear them under thermals until it gets warmer and then underneath uh, dress shirts and things like that when I actually get to go back out into the world. So yeah, um, overall feels pretty nice. We're gonna have to try these on and see how they fit, but uh, you know, first a wash. We're gonna, we're gonna have to wash that before we actually wear it. And the same with these. Uh, yeah, the same uh, general feeling as far as the fabric is concerned. You can see it has basically the same information on their lightweight wicking fabric. Uh, yeah, overall, I'm going to be interested to try these. We'll see how they fit, compare them to their buck naked underwear, which, as I said, I'm very happy with. But uh, yeah, we're going to try these on. Don't worry, not going to be showing anything with that uh, as far as how they fit. I will just simply describe. No one, no one wants to see that, so. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's uh, get these washed up, see what we think. All right, everyone, this is not the most ideal setup, but traveling beggars can't be choosers. So I'm about 5'11", 180 pounds, and this is a large that I'm wearing. As you can tell, fits pretty well. Uh, belt is right about here, and these are definitely made to be tucked in. Uh, this stretches down most of the way to the crotch of my pants, so you would be able to tuck this in very easily and be reassured that it would stay in. All right, so let's just take a look at these, uh, some of the random little features. First off, I must say, athletic wear shirts. I, I know this is meant to be more of like a cooling undershirt, but basically same idea as the athletic wear stuff. Has really come a long way in the last 10 years. Uh, this one in particular, 91% nylon, 9% spandex. It is very comfortable. I don't feel unduly warm when I'm wearing it or anything. They do have their little, you know, oh, it's coated in jade thing to make it feel cooler. It does feel cooler for about five or 10 seconds. Then it comes to your body temperature and you don't really notice it after that. It does stay soft and comfortable throughout the day. Uh, nice and stretchy. So overall, very nice. Uh, I did get silver and black shirts. I'm showing you the black one here because uh, it really highlights that they actually kept some silver piping around the entire thing over uh, most of the major seams. So that adds a touch of style to it. I will also say quite durable. I've probably washed this thing at least 10 or 15 times. It still looks brand new. There's no loose strings anywhere. There's no fraying seams, no edges that are looking bratty or anything like that. So it uh, looks like the durability is going to be very good on these, which is not unexpected. I had good results with their, uh, you know, buck naked underwear style. So, uh, yeah, very good here as well. Um, if you are wearing this just like as an undershirt, as I said, it's going to stay pretty comfortable. Um, yeah, uh, they are definitely pricier than most like cotton undershirts or anything. You're looking at, uh, I think it was like 
20, 25 dollars per undershirt. So um, they're definitely on the higher end as far as undershirts are concerned, but it looks like they're going to hold up. And um, I personally wouldn't just wear one of these casually. Uh, I'm not big on the, uh, you know, tech fabric appearance. So, but uh, as an undershirt or under thermals in the winter, under dress shirts in the summer, probably going to be pretty good. Uh, under a dress shirt, I'd probably go with more of the uh, silver or lighter colors. Otherwise, you're going to see a really stark distinction underneath a white dress shirt between, you know, no undershirt and dark black undershirt. But uh, yeah, overall, I'm fairly impressed with this. Um, glad that I got a couple of them. The underwear, I would say, does not hold up as well. Um, I mean, durability wise, it's fine, but uh, it does not stay comfortable nearly as long um, the color that I got was frankly just garish, but I got it because it was on sale. But in any case, donation bin with that one. Um, yeah. So like I said, in the, uh, buck naked one, what works for underwear does not work for undershirts and that works the other way around. So, uh, hopefully this has been useful to you. Uh, yeah. Like share, subscribe, leave any comments or questions, and I'll try and answer it best I can. Uh, have a good one. See you next time.